What's up anyone? This is Amy from TUC077 and today I'm gonna show you how to flash Angel 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S1 only the vibrant variant. So what you gotta do is of course you gotta make a wipe up, you gotta make a wipe and wipe the delicate cachet and everything. So if you wanna back up back up your phone, then back it up. No one's telling you not to. So what you gotta do is back up your phone and then flat then go to recovery mode. Here it is, it's going to recovery mode now. I'm gonna also be making a video of how you should how to flash angel 4.2 with touch with 5.0 over it, like the Galaxy S3 touches 5.0. Yeah, that one. So what you gotta do is of course you're gonna make a then you gotta make a Hold on, camera isn't focusing. Whatever. Because it's kind of too bright for, for, for the camera. Anyways, so you gotta make a wipe data factory reset. This one. Might take a while because this phone is single cord. And then you go to advanced and wipe delvic cache. Then right now you go back and install the zip from SD card, which is which is the zip you downloaded. And it's called rootbox JB vibrant MTD nightly number 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 dot zip. So you flash that one. If you can see right here, not sure. Yeah, it's too, it's too too bright. So yeah. Fl Flash it, and then that was gonna be flashing it. It might take some time. I'm gonna also be doing a video how to go back to stock on this phone. Because in my, in my previous videos, lots of people are kind of complaining about the phone are not turning on. They're vibrant, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a video about it so that that should get it fixed. Because I had lots of comments on my other channel that when they tried to install Angel 4.1 on it, and some people had the phone brand new, and then they tried to to do stuff flash custom ROM, and it didn't work for them for some reason. So I'm gonna be doing a video that will um that will fix that. Okay. All you need to do is just keep trying to go back to stock. And in case your vibrant is bricked, like it shows you some kind of sign, like a triangle, then dots, then computer, like connect it to keys. Yeah, you can't do that with a vibrant. You cannot connect it to keys. Anyway, if it does that, then it will work go by going back to stock. So it's still flashing it. You don't need to flash the gaps because they already included. So right now what you gotta do is go back and then reboot system now. Reboot it. It might take a while because this is a first boot and of course you should be rooted and you should come from an age of 4.1 custom ROM. Yeah, you cannot come from stock all the way here. Like it, it might work for you. You'll be lucky but most of the time it just breaks. The boot animation is kind of cool. You gotta leave it for a while because it's a first boot. I just said that. The best part about Android is flashing custom ROMs. I'm like the biggest fan of Android. Like not the biggest big, it's not really a big fan of Android. And I'm a fan of Android who hates who really hates iOS. I don't know why. It's just too too limited. iOS is just too limited. So still booting and you might want to give it a minute. Get give it a minute or two.
and yes i i tried this rom and for a vibrant like it's single core and it got only half a gig of ram or something like that and all these kind of specs yeah it's really so good like it's not faster than my nexus 4 that and that's for sure but like for a vibrant yeah it'll be good and you could use it as a daily driver it's not slow at all so yeah but like when you fill it out with games and all these kind of stuff yeah it might want to go a little bit slower but I, I, when I use my Vibrant, I, I don't really use it so much right now, but I, I just fla flash custom ROMs on it, and, and um, what do I do? Like, yeah, just flash custom ROMs, try out custom ROMs and everything. I, I don't, yeah, but you, but if you want to use it as your daily driver, you could, you could put it, just put a SIM card in it and everything. Put a SIM card in it, then then just call me calls and text but i don't really recommend filling it like putting lots of stuff in it in it right now so welcome i'm gonna skip everything skip skip skippy skip 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 i don't have any Alright, now the setup is completed. Now let me put the brightness a little lower here. And here it is the Samsung the um Angel 4.4.2 Jellybean on it. So you could tell cause you got quick settings. Yeah, you, 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 it just go directly to quick settings when when you don't have any notifications. And you could tell when you go to uh oh my god. When you go to settings and then scroll all the way down and you get the Android version which is Android 4.2 J Jelly Bean. And it's fairly smooth. And uh, um you get you get ROM control of course and you don't get system. Oh you get device options and that's no. So you get ROM control. And it got and, and, and it got and probably got cyanogen more mod in it because it's made because they say that it's made out of cyanogen mod and AOKP service and all these kind of stuff but the customizations go to AOKP the smoothness go to cyanogen mod that's the special thing about this ROM and yeah it's kind of like Chimera and no it does not support photosphere photosphere is not for vibrant see so you only get three and then and the photos, like you could, you could take a photo. You could still take a photo, of course. And you, oh, you get those settings right here. And all these kind of stuff. So this was the dark paper. I still say my old channel name. So this was Amy from TUCO seventy seven and showing you a tour of how to install Angel four point two Jellybean. And he got all all kind of stuff that Jellybean has. And what else? They, they got three main features. This, oh yeah, in the lock screen. You could add widgets on the lock screen. Hold on. Right here. Okay, so see you on my next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye